Now, before we talk about the synthesis and reactions of ethers, we want to talk about uh, some reactions that ethers even just simply make possible. And they're involved in what's called phase transfer catalysis. Uh, in this case, it turns out uh, if I want to do a reaction like the one at the bottom here, so I want to do this lovely SN2 reaction, so I need fluoride to come and do backside attack and kick off the bromine. Problem is, is that potassium fluoride is not very soluble in most organic solvents. Uh, if I try to do this reaction, say, in benzene, it's really not going to happen. Potassium fluoride is not going to dissociate to any significant extent. The reaction's just not going to go. But if I add 18 crown 6, this guy right here, it'll work. And the idea is that 18 crown 6 makes potassium fluoride soluble now. So in this case, uh, because each of these oxygens with their lone pairs is going to coordinate with the potassiums, uh, the result is these strong ion dipole interactions that are formed make potassium fluoride much more likely to dissociate. And as a result, we're going to get some naked fluoride ions in that solution, and it's a very strong nucleophile, and we can do this backside attack, this SN2 reaction. Uh, it turns out these crown ethers, they're called crown ethers because they kind of look like a crown. Uh, if you look at how they're named, uh, the first number is the total number of atoms, both carbons and oxygens, in the ring. And the last one is simply just the number of oxygens. So in this first one here, we've got 12 total atoms. That's eight carbons and four oxygens. And then obviously the four then goes for four oxygens. So it's 12 crown four. And it turns out the size of your crown ether determines what cation, in this case, what alkali metal ion, it's going to solvate. Uh, so 12 crown four is appropriate for lithium salts. 15 crown 5 for sodium salts, and the 18 crown 6 we used in the example below uh, for potassium salts. Uh, so each of these crown ethers, you kind of have an idea uh, of which cation they actually will solvate. Uh, but this reaction we, down here, this SN2, is just such a reaction where we might need the use uh, of an 18, in this case of a crown ether.